Hey everybody, Z Garcia here. Today I'm taking a look at some card sleeves. We're going to be looking at uh, some premium sleeves from Sleeve Kings. And they've they got a bunch of different sizes here. With the ones I'm going to be focusing on, because they tend to be the most popular, being Standard European and then just Standard. Okay? So Magic the Gathering and all of that stuff. The main, you know, a lot of folks are going to want to buy these, right? This is the size that gets used the most. Okay. So let's take a look at these first because I've got a couple of them side by side here. This is one of the standard European ones, okay? It's got, again, a nice thickness to it. There's a little bit of a uh, crinkling on the edges, as you can tell there, but it's not problematic. Uh, it shouldn't be It shouldn't be too problematic once you put a card in it. And then this one is a standard European from Game Genic. Okay, now this one's got that matte non-glare frosted look, which I think is very nice. But as you can see, the edges are very clean. There's no crinkling except of where I'm holding it. So it's like a, like a pane of glass, you know. This one doesn't really give me that same look. And uh, I don't know if that's just from packaging or actual manufacturing, but there you go. Now, they're supposed to be for the same card size. The, let's put uh, this guy, no, this guy, this guy aside for a sec. Okay, so that's is you, this is you. This one says here it's 59 by 92 millimeters. And this one says it's 62 by 94. So these should be taller, they're saying 94. And they should be wider, they're saying 62 to 59 here. Okay, well, let's take a look. If we put these on top of each other, they are actually the exact same width, and these are taller, even though they're saying it's 92 and this one's saying it's 94. Okay, so what's the issue here? Who's off? Well, let's take a look. This one, I'm going to take a look at this, and I'll try to share this with you. All right, let's move that. Here we go. So this one is... 94, oh, come on, 94 is about right, and that is what they say, 94. And this one's saying 92, so let's take a look at that. This one's 95. Uh, yep, 95, but they're saying 92. So the problem is, these sizes are off. They're also saying 59. But this is clearly over 60, right? You can see that. It's over 60. It's 62 or so. So their sizes are off. There's no question, okay? And uh, unfortunately, if you want to buy this brand, you have to know that the sizes they say, they must mean for the card size instead of what the sleeve actually is. As opposed to the other ones, like Game Genic tells you what size the sleeve is, okay? So there you go. This is going to hold true, by the way, for the regular, you know, for the standard size as well. But let's take a look at some of them. I've got some cards sleeved here from Marvel Champions with the standard. And they shuffle well. They feel good. They shuffle well. They're nice thickness, like I said. They are quite big. As you can see, there's a lot of room around this card. You know, I can pinch quite a bit of this. There you go. And at the top, same thing. So tons of room around that. And I, I want to make sure you can appreciate that. There you go. Okay? A lot of room around it. It's about similar to the Fantasy Flight sleeves. I don't think Fantasy Flight makes those anymore. But here I've got a few other brands. Okay? So let me show you. This one's a Fantasy Flight one. It's going to be this, this helicarrier so we don't get it confused. Because they're really close. And so... They're about the same height with the Fantasy Flight one actually being slightly taller. They're even taller. But same width, about the same height. So the closest thing to these sleeve kings is actually old school Fantasy Flight sleeves. Uh, I think Fantasy Flight no longer makes those. They've all gone over to Game Genic. And Game Genic really is using a different sizing uh, structure. So if you really liked the Fantasy Flight ones... I think you're really going to like these. They have a very similar uh, feel. 
They shuffle similarly, similar fit, all of that stuff. Now, some of these other ones here that I've got, I've got, uh, this one is just a Key Forge. Key Forge is also standard size, okay? And then I've got one from Ultra Pro, and I've got one from uh, Ultimate Guard here. That one, uh, there we go. Ultimate Guard, which is this cool tan color. Now, these are all much tighter fits than this one. And in fact, I'm going to go ahead and do this, and then hopefully we can take a look at it. You'll see what I'm talking about here. This guy, so the, the shortest one here is certainly, and the closest fit, is the Ultimate Guard. If you like your fits uh, for card sleeves to be very tight on the card, this is one you want to go with. It feels great. It's a good finish. And it is, no, that they're not wasting room around this card. This fits the card and that's it. Now, a couple of final points here, okay? These decks come with 55 cards, which is five more than their comparable side-by-side -side product at 50, okay? So they do have more cards. They're also cheaper than a lot of brands out there that are offering a similar quality. So there is that as well. The packaging on these, meaning the outside of this product, seems to be much less uh, sturdy than some of their other brands. That doesn't matter unless you're planning to keep the outside, but this has happened to a few of them where the outside packaging, so I could pull this out sideways now if I wanted to. That has torn. It happened there, and it happened there, okay? And it happened to the inside bag, keeping the sleeves. It has not happened to any sleeve, okay? I want to make that clear. Sleeves are good. Packaging that keeps them is falling apart on some of these. That's maybe more of a store owner thing. Now, one other thing that uh, these do is this one tells you the size, and then it tells you for card size up to 60 by 92 millimeters. These do not do that. Maybe they should do that. Maybe on the back of these, somewhere it should say, you know, this size is four cards up to this size, or this is the size of the sleeves, so you can fit cards up to this size in there. So perhaps they should do that as well. But these are cards that feel good and are, and are cheaper than, again, most of the other ones on the market right now, or many of the higher-end ones on the market right now. So if you're looking for something that keeps the quality up while, you know, bringing down the price a little bit or giving you a few more sleeves, then that's, I think, what Sleeve Kings is going for. And, well, it's up to you to decide if that's, you know, if you find that to be uh, uh, worthwhile for you or if you do find that to be true. They feel good while being a little bit cheaper. But that's, again, kind of up to you to decide where you find these and for how much and all that. So there you go. That's Sleeve Kings, everybody. Uh, hopefully, if you have any other questions, I'll be able to answer them. Pop them into the uh, comments below, and I'll try to, to answer them as best as I can. It's kind of hard to cover a product like this, because I can't always predict what you're going to be curious about. Uh, and maybe even the, the company will answer those questions down there. But anyway, my name is Z Garcia, folks. Thanks very much. I'll see you on the next one.